Hey guys, this is Bear Gaming and welcome back to our channel. For today's video, let's talk about basic gear equipment. Now, let's emphasize the word basic because we are just going to talk about N and R grade gears. So, I wanted to discuss about these two basic gears, particularly the N grade and R grade because they are quite easy to get. And do you know that with the, just these basic gears, you'll be able to finish the first 8 story pack. So what I'm referring to is this one. You can see currently we only have 8 story packs. The last one currently is Blood Rhapsody. And I think based on the developer's notes, we are going to have more story packs coming, particularly on July 28th. That's Wednesday, this coming Wednesday. Oh, by the way, guys, today is a Monday, so happy Monday, guys. We're back with more Brown Dust 2 videos. So, as I was saying, with this 8 story pack, some character packs, even special packs, I was able to do, well, most all of them with just this N grade and R grade gears. They're really quite easy to get, especially if you have your characters like Fred and Layla. Well, if you're just a beginner, you might want to go for Fred until you get Layla. Because later on, you will be able to find out that Fred only reaches up to expert level, which means he can only craft up to SR gears. While Layla, on the other hand, is able to craft until you are. So, yeah. Next. You also want to check or you also must be aware that there are two types of heroes. One is physical type heroes and the other one is magic type heroes. Knowing these types will make it easier for you to equip your gears. Also, you must check the costumes because that's where they indicate what sort of attack they do or produce. Whether it's physical attack or magic attack. So, let's see some samples. Over here in the companions button, you can see your main team. And the standby characters. So let's pick a character. Let's say for Cry. Currently, Cry has two costumes. The first one is Liberated Marauder. And you can see the skill description Armor Attack, Attack two times. Each attack deals 724 physical damage based off of the 200% of attack. Decreased defense by 50% for four turns. With this alone, you can already see that Cry deals physical damage. And even the other costume which is this one, Violent Student. The skill description says, acquire 3 SP, deal 1 physical damage and knock the target 2 squares to the back. The knockback target deals 100% of their max HP to the impacted target with physical damage. Deals 470 physical damage based off of the 130% of attack every turn for 6 turns. So see, he deals physical damage. So let's try other heroes. Let's say this one, Same. She also has two costumes. The first one is Kind Student. It says here increases attack by 20% for two turns. Increase magical attack by 20% for two turns. Heals ally HP or allies HP by 58 base off of the 25% of magic attack every turn for two turns. And she has another costume. Actually, if you observe. Same and Cry are somewhat matchy matchy because I think they are lovers here in Brown Dust 2. So you can see the other costume is Kind Liberator in attack. Two times each attack deals 232 magic damage based off of the 100% of magic attack. Decrease magic resist by 50% for 4 turns. And by this, you'll be able to determine that Same deals magic damage. Okay, now, since we'll be able to determine now, we are going to check the gears. Okay. That was strange. You can see those squares. <laughs> For a while back, you can see some squares here. <laughs> anyway, let's proceed with the gears. So currently, I equip my cry with R grade gears. And you can also see that I already enhanced each of the gears to plus 9. Plus 9 is the current maximum enhancement for each gear. So, you can see there are 5 slots indicating 5 types of gears. And also, I want to show you those characters that could craft. Let's say for Fred. You can see he can craft up to 
to SR. And also, you can see on the upper left portion of the icon of a particular gear, you can see this symbols. So, you can see the weapon. And then, these are the armor, helmet or headgear, gloves, and the accessory. So, let's go back to the character. Let's say for Cry. Okay, there are five slots. The first one is the weapon, armor, headgear. Uh, I think this is the accessory, right? Accessory and the gloves. So you can see the first one is the weapon. It indicates attack. Because whenever you acquire a particular weapon, you can see what type of whether it's magic attack or physical attack well i'm not saying you'll be able to find the word physical attack because when it comes to the swords usually it's just attack you won't be able to see magic attack but when it comes to the staff like what same has it says here magic attack so that's also one way of boosting a character's capability so since same deals magic attack it's best if you're going to equip her with staff because this will help boost magic attack whereas for physical characters like cry it's much better if you're going to equip the sword although it doesn't indicate their physical attack but it's like obvious that this is referring to physical attack or probably attack in general now for the armor you'll be able to see two types as well this one will give you increase of defense and hp while the other one let's say for hayden you will be able to increase magic resist this is the type of armor you want to equip especially if you have bosses who deal magic damage so with the armor helmet or circlet you also well it's really up to you if you are really tedious when it comes to gearing your equipment if you have the time to like change but as for me i just put magical resist for magical heroes but for physical heroes i put the armor and helmet but if you're if you have the time and you want to make effort let's say if there is a physical boss coming you want to change into armors and helmets in order for you to to have this uh, lower damage received when it comes to physical and let's say your boss is going to be that magic type boss you might you might want to change the equipment into magic resist it's really up to you but when it comes to me i just put them in default right there and whether or not it's a physical type of boss or magic type of boss i just use the same gear so it's up to you but it's nice to know that there are gears that will give you a lot of magic resist let's say for this one this this is the robe and the circlet as well because the counterpart of the circlet is actually the helmet if you're going to check cry's equipment you have the helmet here this will increase defense and now for the accessory you might want to whether increase critical damage or critical hit rate it's really up to you which of the following well i i think i equip this with critical damage there's also a different accessory which is this one this necklace will increase critical hit rate because if you want to check the different basic stats of each of the gear just go for fred or Layla. you'll be able to see the different list or different types of gears they will be able to make so we are going to check the r grade so you can see two types of weapons whether it's the basic attack or physical attack like like how i want to say it and the staff is for magic attack so by these two you'll be able to determine what type of characters you have and which of the following gears you'd like to equip so it's much better if your character is a magic type of character therefore you want to equip this staff now for the armors you can see there are two types as well one that will give you defense and the other one will give you magic resist this is the helmet defense 
and the other one the circlet gives you magic resist so it's really up to you if you like i said if you are really doing or making effort if you want to change them every now and then determining uh what type of bosses you are going to encounter it's really up to you but as for me i just equip them as it is now for the gloves you might want to go for attack and the other one is magic attack as well so the gloves work hand in hand with the weapon so you can see by by this image the sword goes to this one while the staff goes to this one the bracelet and for the accessory if you want to go for critical damage go for the ring and if you want to go for critical hit rate or critical rate you might want to go for the necklace so it's up to you most likely most of the characters here are damage dealing or dps's so yeah it's up to you if you want to like further increase their critical damage or their critical hit rate also i want to inform you that if you are going to enhance your gears up to plus nine you'll be able to get three random options what i'm referring to is this one let's say the armor the basic stat or option is defense and upon enhancing or upgrading them to plus nine you'll be able to get random types as as like what it's indicating here so random grand type over here and also grants option upon achieving three that's enhancement plus three and also on plus six and on plus nine so it will be something like this one like what i have currently so let's say for this armor you can see the basic or yeah the basic option would be defense i also got an additional defense in percent and also the three random options that we'll be able to receive once we do enhancement so you can see you'll be able to get here critical hit rate probably defense if you're really nitty-gritty or you really like to pay attention with this like take an extra step you might want to get more attack critical hit rate critical damage for your dpss well if you are building your tanks you might you might want to get more hp defense and stuff like that also you want you might want to like take note that you can get uh, random options in percent you can see defense in percent critical hit rate in percent let's say for this one you see magic resist in percent defense in percent sometimes you also get flat number or flat digits or whole numbers so it's really up to you if you want to change them because when it comes to me if i see something in percent i just take it away <laughs> but then thinking about Jaden, he is a dps character so probably i would want to look for something that has more critical hit rate lines or probably more critical damage that would be really good in order for our dpss to your in other words you want to see the full potential of your dpss or damage dealers there are tanks but i don't really use tanks as of the moment there would be fred who else uh, i'm not really familiar with them because currently i just have my five heroes over here most of them are damage dealing characters none of them are supporters well i guess for cry i'm using this costume for him most of the time which one uh this one the liberated marauder which is decreased defense by 50 percent so i guess he is somewhat a support ish character but i can no, see he really on. deals a lot of damage whenever he does that skill so i guess he is part well more more on the part of dps and some little part of support so that's how you do basic gearing it's super easy to understand so always remember guys there are two types of characters so you have to pay attention of the weapon you're going to equip whether it's the basic or physical attack or you might want to get the magic attack increase and then there's also the what's the other one the gloves or the hand gear whether you are going to go for the physical attack and also when it comes to magic characters you want to go for the bracelet well sami over here has her own unique weapon let's say for 
Jaden. He's a magic type character. You can see I equip him with the bracelet instead of the gloves because he will be able to get this magic attack increase. So I really hope I'm making sense. <laughs> this is just the basic gearing. Once we have, or once I'll be able to get the SR and UR gears, I'll be able to make a separate video because I think you'll be able to, like I can see some options there that deals fire damage, water damage of some sort. I think you will be able to unlock that once we are going to the higher forms of gears but for now we are going to stick with n and r grade gears because with this they're just the basic but with this type of gears i was able to finish the entire story pack as of the moment and some of the character packs as well so it's quite useful all you have to do is enhance just look for those additional options that are in percent because that would be very useful also you can see everything here is in percent and also just pay attention when it, if it's a physical type character or a magic type character and if you want to do some extra steps or effort you might want to check out your enemies if your enemies deal physical damage you might want to go for the armors and the helmets and if your bosses or or if the monsters are dealing magic damage you might want to get the robe and the circlet in order for you to have that magic resist so that will be all guys for today we discuss about the basic gearing <laughs> like i said this is just the basic gearing and if you want those more advanced uh gearing videos and stuff like that i'm going to make that one in the future so please do watch out for them so yeah that will be all guys for today please don't forget to subscribe to my twitch channel youtube channel and please do give my videos some love by liking them if you want to and i will see you again on the next video this is bear gaming i hope you all have a great day